Right, remember what we said, Foggy, number 12. We got the shot, but the position is terrible, so we'll, we'll try it again. I think my potting is second to none on single shots. But I think the actual doubles and triples is good. My potting is exceptional. But my break building, I'm running out of position too much for my life. There you go. Come too far, Anna. Come too far, this is going to be an hard shot there. I had one that one it. <clears throat> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And it's uh It's Friday and I'm off out for a few beers with the chaps. Uh not been going out for a bit. Been there. Concentrating on my snooker and trying to get my touch right, which it isn't. It's still a mess. Still all over the place. But I managed to get my stance right and potting. But other than that, now my positional play is still six months away. But that's another story. Right, I put a tweet out this morning regarding these accounts that keep appearing from nowhere there's over a hundred and twenty of them and they seem to put a tweet out that's always on the back of something Eddie Hearn said or done people can say oh it's like you're obsessed and you're going on about it all the time even some people that I trust have pointed it out to me that you do keep going on about it a bit and yeah I do keep going on about it but is there all time and he in front of us and nobody's making a stand so I'm gonna keep going on about it so there's been four or five people that have said to me oh not Eddie again even my kids are starting to go not Eddie dad but nobody's gonna say oh if it ain't me are they so I did tweet out asking Coogan Cassie if he's gonna if he's gonna say something. And he said Umar IFL Umar is gonna ask Eddie about these accounts. I've just watched it on my phone now and it's a 10 minute 56 second interview. I'm not gonna put it on, but uh, I'm not gonna play it because I think it's I think Coogan Cassius should be embarrassed employing Umar, IFL Umar, because they're not asking the proper questions, are they? Umar, IFL Umar has got Eddie Hearn under the cosh there, and all he's done is get a feather off a chicken and just tickle Eddie's size 12 feet with it. That's all he's done, that's it. What, what were that, Umar? So all you followers of my channel, there ain't that many because we don't buy subscribers, we don't buy views, we're just genuine, boom. Can you just tweet Umar IFL Umar and Eddie Hearn and Dazone, just Coogan Cassius and tag Steven Espinosa in this as well and just ask these people what the F-U-C-K is going on. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail because the gentleman who sent me it, who I've just given my phone number today, he's from the heart and I respect him. So if you're watching, bump. 
but I've been banging on about this for a couple of years now um, let's just say I've got some people looking at it and these people are not stupid if you invest in your own software and you pay a bit extra you can find out a lot of things trust me a lot of things and what's going on is nothing short of fraud in my eyes it's a bit like this with visa isn't it that's not right is it Eddie and said all you do is buy a ticket and you know they sort your visa out yeah you've got to pay an extra hundred quid if you're accepted so Sammy well well it's Friday isn't it so I'll be going over to uh, see the chaps in a minute I'm not going to drink drive I think it's a taxi for Porky third drink driving will do me for 10 years won't it but no I'm not I'm not happy I'm not happy at all I'm not happy at all it's like taking your kids to Smith's isn't it you're only taking them in for a look and then they refuse to come out don't they um, when they come out when you come out and you get them a toy they give them a magazine so they throw a toy in the car then they sat there with a magazine they're going I should have got that I should have got that unbelievable but anyway getting back to that I'm a bit disappointed with you Omar I fellow Omar they're giving Eddie the platform but they're not asking him the proper questions the reason is well I know this, I know why the reason is, I'm not going to go into details but I 100% know that they don't want to lose their access do they if they push it too far and I can understand that but you want to be a big boxing journalist don't you it's like I'm not going to get a press pass am I because I'm in a better position than some of these, I'm 49 year old so I should be shouldn't I but I want to see proper questions asked and they're not being asked they're not being asked at all and how much longer do we have to put up with this I seem to see two interviews every single day I don't know, here a bit of homework for you people who keep asking me if they, if they can help me with channel you can all help me with channel, just spread the word but I would like people to send me some ideas for different approaches that's boxing related obviously I'm putting a few snooker shots in in the middle of my videos when I turn the if I put a free parter on or if, if I use the if I do three clips or three different issues I put snooker shots in between because then we can tag snooker in and why we do that is we might get snooker fans involved with with, uh, with channel but it's mainly to get views in it that's what we're doing we're not going to buy views we're going to use our initiative and if me putting a five second shot of snooker in between is good is is uh is gonna if that's what it's gonna take so be it we're trying to think on our feet i mean somebody sent me in an email today why don't we have you porky doing sit-ups <laughs> that's a good one isn't it eight minutes i could do 500 sit-ups in i were in solitary confinement a year though at the time so I had plenty of time to practice so try that at home if you've got a spare eight minutes but now look if you've got any ideas send them to me in emails and you can all help me that way but if you really want to help just tweet them people and ask them what sort of questions are you asking and I know it's going to be hard for Coogan and he's likeable Coogan he's got that likeable factor about him and Dennis you know my my close friend Dennis Hobson and people around Dennis Richard Towers they like Coogan as well but Coogan you've got a you've got a channel there but you're always going to get people saying you're an arse slicker and this and that and I don't think you're an arse slicker Coogan personally because I don't know you that well but I think that well I know that you don't want to lose your press pass and you know, you've got to keep Eddie sweet, he's the top dog, isn't he? But Eddie Hearn and Dazone are wide open for criticism here with this. The, the, these accounts, these 
these accounts that are going out there there's over 100 of them and they're all coming out from the same area and we know it's coming from an office and that people are sat there on minimum wage who, who've who are doing it a bit of cash in hand or they're getting ticket deals i know we know what's going on you know we know that people were putting stuff out about other promoters that's negative i'm not going to go into detail and putting stuff out that edit about eddie that's positive we know it goes on it's business it's no different to it's no different to things that happen in scrap metal industry i worked in scrap metal industry for a year myself so some of the things that were going on were shocking and you know i see I see, I see more, more. Uh, I know. Sorry, I know more about the scrap metal industry since I've been with Dennis. This, um, it's, we're coming up to five years since I've been with Dennis, so I do get to know a little bit more, and I know a lot more about boxing. And I've got people offering the services to us who are IT specialists, and and I always say, well, if you want to do me a favour, what, what's going on here? How, how are certain people doing this on the channels and? What am I doing wrong with a channel and why are they doing that? And I want to know. I want to know what's going on in the boxing industry. I make it my business to know and if I can bend rules with getting somebody to do something in the work hour, I'm going to do it. I've got good people around me. For example, uh, if we're stuck with matchmaking, Dennis will ring me up and he'll say, get in touch with Terry Chapman Dharma, see what who he thinks about who we're going to put him in with next or who does he think would be a good signing who, who's turning over or you know Rico that he helps us out with, with stuff and uh, stuff behind the scenes that I'm not even going to go into with, with, with emails and dealing with big companies and stuff then Dadley went to school did he? he's a scrap metal man that does boxing I don't know what I am and probably you could call me the uh, well, I'm, I'm a registered junkie, aren't I? That's what I am, so... You know, I'm not spectacular, am I? I'm brilliant Nick. You know, I've done alright for me, Sam, but that's my CV. It's not very good, is it? It's not something that you want your... It's not something that you want... You don't want to be sat in somebody's house on a Sunday dinner, do you? With a girl. So this is my boyfriend, Mum. You know, it, I'm not a good catch, am I? You know, if I get somebody, I'm not going to be a great catch, but it is what it is, isn't it? I've got that, and I I've got a big heart. That's why I'm around Dennis. He won't have me. He won't have me around me otherwise. You know, I won't get to knock around with them people, would I? Dennis or AJ Hobson? They're not going to have you in your company, are they? If you're a plant pot, and I'm a plant pot, though, aren't I? But now boxing, I feel it in my heart, man. I don't. I don't like this KSI, Logan Paul. I don't like it. I see that, and then I see people like Liam Williams jogging up up uh, Shirecliff and that, and I think in the jogging in rain, Liam Williams, and he's uh, he's not going to get a uh, pay per view, is he? They're going to have to do it hard way, aren't they? Look at Liam Cameron; he, he's he's on a four year ban for allegedly having a line of coke. Four year. Tyson Fury got. A two year ban for a coke charge, a refusal charge and a Nandorone charge. Two year. Liam got four year first charge. You know, what, what's, what, what, what about that? That's bad, isn't it? If Dillian White beats his drug charge, what well, he's got hanging over him, or has he got it hanging over him? He's not even been charged, has he? What, what's going on there? WBC are going to make him wait while well, 2000 and. I don't know, he, he's got another. 16 months has he to wait on top of two years already done what's all that about we be crooks i'll get into trouble for saying that because we're working with wbc aren't we at the moment crooks though aren't you crooks that'll be it that's what i think I get really into trouble now but look you've got to say it as you see it not we can't say we be a cooks, what can we say? That's not right, is it? All this fake news with Dazone and all this. Eddie turned it on its head saying, well, it's 99 quid for a year. Yeah, but it was $10 a month to start, wasn't it? So, 
over a year it's hundred and twenty dollars that's what you were make that's the point you were making Eddie and Umar IFL Umar you know that don't you Umar you you know that Umar don't you so it's just disappointing people have got the opportunity to ask Eddie Earn the proper questions and they ask him one little question it was like a squeak out of his voice oh and Eddie Eddie we've just been sent this he couldn't even can read it out we've just been sent this Eddie off Porky's Corner oh Eddie we've oh Eddie Eddie we've just been sent this we've just been sent this Eddie Eddie we've just been sent this Eddie's gone out and have a look oh they're calling me Sir Edward oh the oh uh, oh yeah he didn't even read it out Umar IFL didn't read it out and Eddie Hearn didn't read it out that's what that's the point I'm trying to make so Coogan I do have a problem with it because you tweeted me back and you, you, you put yourself in a good light with me and then you go and do that your employee didn't even read out what I asked didn't even read out do you know what I mean now how bad is that what what it's just palmed off and I read something you see I try not to get involved in this Twitter back and forth because I end up losing my cool you know what I mean okay now 48 new notifications that would be like that all day I'm not even gonna just send me mad it just get me angry uh, just get me angry you know what I mean, that's the last thing I want is getting angry, I'll end up probably going and going and getting drunk and going back to somebody's house till Sunday. Do you know what I mean? And be looking out at window all day Monday. And then I'll not get no done, but I'm really, really, really disappointed with you, my I fellow Ma. I'm really disappointed. He had an opportunity to ask something. And he didn't ask the question. What the way he did? He passed my tweet to Eddie Hearn and it's really disappointing. It's he tiptoed round it, and I'm going to do a blast with, uh, with my good friend Dale Nichols. We're going to do one regular. I like having Dale on channel. He's from Art. Plus, he come all the way up to see me from Wolverhampton. All the way up to office and I took him out and that for some to eat. He's a nice kid. Very young kid, but I just want people to just ask the proper questions and let's have some clarity. What is the boxing criteria for pay per view? You know, is it if you do numbers? What's all that about? Does it have to be about world title about what what is it? You know what's going on? Shout out Dave Allen, I know you're watching Dave. Dave, you know you will take that money off Frank Warren for the bar. If you don't, it'll be ticking over in your mind look, now all Christmas. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's what happens when you listen to people that don't have your best interests at heart, Dave. Has Darren Barker got your best interests at heart, Dave Allen? No. If he did have, he would have pulled you out against David Price after six rounds. Because after six rounds, you had lost every single round. And David Price had not even broke a sweat because he got his tail up. So, once you're six rounds down and you're getting hammered in the seventh, why are you even hanging in there? Why is he keeping you in there for rounds seven, eight, nine and ten? That extra 12 minutes could take five years off your life, Dave. But, I don't know, it's all a bit of a mess, isn't it? It's all of a bit, bit of a mess. It's uh, it just gets me down. It's uh, gets me down. But so well, that's about it, really. I could have gone to Leeds tonight to film uh, film some boxing, but you know, sometimes you just got to put your foot down, aren't you, and say no, no. Uh -uh. There's no videos going out now. While well, next week. Uh, we keep chipping away though, we keep chipping away, uh, 
were slowly but surely chipping away if it were that easy if it were easy everybody would be doing it but like I've just said I'm very disappointed very disappointed with Omar IFL Omar um, but I am looking forward to this show uh, I think it's good value I don't think Chisora against Price should be a co-feature but if they're getting half a million quid each well somebody's getting paid well aren't they because like I said if Chisora loses tomorrow they're still going to wheel him out again if Price loses they'll still wheel him out again that's boxing isn't it that's boxing uh, I watched the uh, Liam Williams fight against Liam Smith last night the first one and Liam Williams has got to be really cheesed off with Lockett we've got to be really upset with Lockett there and the other one with a beefy Smith you've got to give him respect very tough kid and um, but he's not beat a, he's he's a former world champion who's not beat a champion so I don't get that but he's a tough kid Liam Smith and I would like to see him win a world title at 154 a genuine world title off a champion I'd like to see that and all these rumours about Paul Smith coming back at light heavyweight I hope they're not true but I don't really think Paul Smith's got that much miles on clock to be honest me I don't I don't think he's got miles on clock I don't but if Paul Smith comes back at light heavyweight I'd like to see that I would like to see that I mean, I were a Paul Smith fan when he were a middleweight, when Stevie Bendel beat him. Uh, I've got Stevie's number here. When Stevie Bendel beat him, everybody in boxing industry was shocked because Paul Smith were tipped to win a world title. And if you'd have seen his fights up to that, you'd have said, he'll go all the way, you were always in good shape. But something happened to him when he got beat by Stevie Bendel. I don't know what it were. But something happened to Paul Smith and I think everything changed for him then. But I think Paul Smith technically has got the ability to do well. I don't know if he can at like everybody, but I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Paul Smith come back at 175 and uh, fight somebody. Uh, who, I don't know. But I'd like to see him in a good fight. Boatsy, I'd like to see Paul Smith against Boatsy. If he's coming back, if not, he might just be ticking over. Might just be keeping himself fit. Just because the boxer keeps his own fit, doesn't mean he say he's having a comeback, does it? For example, Bellew. He's been doing a bit of training, but does it mean he's coming back? I don't know, but I'm still going to say he'll come back again. But I got it wrong, he wasn't going to come back for Christmas, were I? So, but... Well, you will come back, trust me. He will come back. Tyson Fury, he's been injured, hasn't he, or something? Or is it a pretending injury? What is he doing? But, boxing, Tyson doesn't owe boxing nothing. He doesn't owe anybody anything. He would treat like a dog when he won world title. But when all said and done, for the high profile that Tyson Fury's got, one world title win in his whole career for the profile that Tony Bellew has got two world title wins and both of them weren't world champions they blagged it haven't they they blagged it Billy Joe Saunders how many world champions has he beat who oh, how many Eubank IBO champion and he'd beat him at British level he'd beat Lemieux he's a former champion and who's the other one he beat Andy Lee he was a champion at the time so he's got three wins there but people keep putting Billy Joe Saunders in mix don't they for Canelo and Triple G I think we've been hearing this for about five years haven't we Billy Joe Saunders will fight Golovkin when the time's right but when he gets Golovkin Golovkin will be like David Lemieux he's got that one trick pony that's what will happen 
Billy's not just going to get, he's not going to fight him just yet. 20 past five. So. I wonder if Den's enjoying it in Vegas. I bet he's gambling. Yeah, I bet Den's gambling. I would be if I were in Vegas, but I can't get a can't get a visa. Me and Peter Fury, uh, Homeland Security won't let us go. Peter Fury tried to get into America, didn't he, through Canada on train, but. Uh, And he got caught, didn't he, Peter? Because he was going to be training, wasn't he, in corner for Tyson versus Cunningham, but he got caught, so... I don't think Peter will be trained with a lawyer again. Grayson's lawyers at Sheffield. <laughs> couldn't get me, couldn't get me a visa. Here with Mitchell's a load better. But... It is what it is, innit? But like I said, point of this video is just it's end of week now, innit? I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a chat with Dale Nichols on Sunday. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this video out then. It'll probably go out on on its own this video, and I'm gonna do a blast with Dale regarding the Matchroom show, which I'm really looking forward to, to be honest, because it's a good show. It's a good show by the looks of it. It's a really, really good show. So, so I'm gonna. Uh, send me mate a message now, and I'm gonna. Uh, For a few beers. Give out. I'm just parked. Oops. I'm just parked on as the car park at back here. I'm just going to pull it into back where wrap is, where wraps are, and we'll. Uh, I'm going to go out and then sink a few beers. So save me going up. Oh, I'm not fancy going up hill walking. I don't fancy walking, taking car and walking back. So I'm going to leave it at yours. Alright, so, okay, in a minute. So that's that, don't drink and drive. I've had one beer, and what I do when I drink a bottle of beer, I always, is it there? I always peel the thing off. I can't drink beer out of a glass. I don't know why, but I can down them out of a bottle, but I won't out of a glass. There's pills in there I drink. Two quid a bottle pills, rocket fuel. So, it is what it is, isn't it? So, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I've got, before I go, I'm just gonna show you this. Right, uh, isn't it funny we can spend all, we can all spend all money in the world on clothes and that, right? You can have tailor-made shirts and go out and buy jeans and that. My jeans are only cheap where I wear. And you know this jumper here? I've got some jumpers that... Look at that. What's that say there? Giacomo! I had this right when I was fat as a pig. And I've had it tucked tuck in and that. And I quite like it. And there's, not some, there's some decent stuff on there. So you don't all have to be about wearing Lacoste stuff and things like that. It's not about that, it's about what you like, innit? And people keep coming up to me and it was only cheap that. Oh, that's nice, Porky, where did you get that from? And I say, oh, I can't tell you. And this same guy keeps coming up to me and he keeps saying, Porky, where you got that top from? I say, I'm not telling you, I don't want to come in here one day and you have the same top on. He's, oh, it's really nice, how much for it? And I say, it was cheap. Oh, it won't, it won't. Were cheap as chips, I think it was about 29 quid or something, 30 quid for a jumper. Now what's the difference between that and a Lacoste one at 130 quid? The only difference is the bleeding crocodile on the front, that's it. Still good quality that, and obviously now I've had it tucked in and that, I'm right pleased with it, but 
so as consumers we have to be very careful about what we spend our money on because if you go careful and you save it up at the end of the year you have a good Christmas with your family can't you alright so but it is what it is so but I just want to let everybody know that after the next show is it all the votes are going to be in for the prediction league so all you people who laughed and took the mickey oh porky's prediction league who's going to be interested in that well we're going to announce the winner so and the winner will get looked after tickets for dennis's show and and whatnot so all right so and all you people who said oh god that'll never take off well the handful of people who've done it and there ain't that many 10 or 12 that have done it they'll the winner will be coming way in his so remember and then we're going to start another one next year all right so it's just for fans that want to know about boxing and, and are interested in it that's all Get me out drunk for that much i had a beer over sunday and i want to know i feel drunk already which i'm just going to pull around here on this private Keep your eye on the black. This is going to go in as fast as lightning. <laughs> hey! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Right. Watch this off at knuckle. Well, I did tell you that now. I'm not the best snooker player in the world, right? But what I do, I put the time in so I know that, I know the angles, I know what the knuckles do. So, all you people who keep asking me about it, oh, is it a fluke and all that? No, it isn't. But if you do the knuckle shot, you get a couple of bites at the cherry. But if you catch it right, it kicks back with it, backspin off it. And as you've just seen, <laughs> perfect, wasn't it? Perfect. This is one of my favourite shots, the knuckle shot. You ready? <laughs> it's uh, it's not called the knuckle shot for no. It's like a boom. It's the Carl Froch against George Groves. Nice little delicate black and tip corner. It's nice and steady, isn't it? You don't need to hit them hard, do you? You don't need to hit them hard. But I like to hit them hard. But you don't need to. You can just, you can hit them gently, you know. You can hit them very gently. But. Watch me tip. Change battery. Here's the question then that Omar was asking Eddie and on behalf of me, but he didn't ask him, did he? He passed him the phone. So make your own minds up. This is what this is what we're up against in the boxing industry. Alright, this man is just taking liberties, aren't you Edward? Might lie about where they live. Furco. <laughs> Last one. Uh, I've got tagged in this this morning. I don't know if you've seen it. You might want to explain the zone box weights. I don't know if you've seen them. No, I've oh, got Sir Edward. Oh, it's me, is it? It's my fault. Sir Edward Bird. But there's hundreds of these same tweets. Right, look, so far he's not said a dicky bird. All he's said is Sir Edward. Now look, he's thinking now what to say, look, what can I say to this now? Oh, Porky's got me here, I'm exposed. What can I do? And let me tell you this, there's more to come out yet. But I, I, 
I ain't got the time or effort today to deal with this, but let me tell you, when I get back to my office on Monday, I'm going to let rip, but keep watching this. Basically asking to subscribe to the I zone. saw one from a journalist last Oh, from a journalist. So Eddie saw a question from a journalist last night, right? But he hasn't replied to that journalist or said anything whatsoever. Now this is what? Well, when this was done, it was 24 hours later, so he's not done anything. So they've put it on him now, but... The cat's out at bag now, isn't it? We know what Eddie is, don't we? Look. I'm not saying that, but I haven't seen any of them. He's not seen any of that. Oh my god. Every single one of these tweets, they're all on his timeline. They have been on it for the last five years. The zone he's paying off and paid 120 That's wrong, though. It's not $120 a year, it's $99 a year. Right. Yeah, but it was £10 a month, Eddie, to start, or $10 a month to start, right? Now you're saying it's $99. You know, there's that much confusion over this. They're just spinning. They're just spinning what they want. You catch them out, they just spin another story. I mean, what's the point? What is the point with these people? They're just doing what they want. And all the people around them, they all know it's going on. IFL know it's going on. They never said a word. If I hadn't mentioned this, they wouldn't have said a word. They all want to keep their own little cosy little numbers going. So I very much doubt this comes from the zone if they're going to get the price back. True. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. He's just, he's, what he's done, he's just done what he's always done. He's battered it away, right? He's battered it away, and that's it. So, 8 minutes, 31 seconds, it started the question, and look, he's already battered it away. Like, why is there like loads of people putting the same tweet? I've absolutely no idea. There you go. Cocker Def one, he don't know why that's happening. Why are people putting out these tweets over an 8 hour period every single day? The same accounts, we know followers, some of them have not even got pictures on. Why are these people constantly tweeting all this stuff every single day? Day in, day out. Eddie Earn puts a tweet out and these people decide, who've got no followers, they're all from England, all decide all of a sudden to go out there and big Daz own up. It's what they've been doing with Sky Sports for years. But now, the game switched. It's now to Dazone. So he's got the same game plan with Dazone. But it's not working in Dazone. Because things like this expose them. Alright, this man has been exposed. Alright, and as you can see, where's his fucking hairline? Where is that? Where's his hair gone? That is the biggest forehead I've ever seen in my life. There you go. Maybe I'll speak to the zone about but it. I don't think they would tell you the public. There you go. Maybe I'll speak to the zone about it. Maybe Umar's got some balls after all. Or little balls the size of garden peas. It's $120 a year when it's $99 a year. So. There you go. So he's just thrown that one on it, yeah. The point we're trying to make, Eddie, is this. It was $10 a month. Now your team of social media gimps, the gimp squad, have all been putting it out as any hundred and twenty dollars a year, ten dollars a month. You said Eddie. I mean your staff can't even get the stories right. So Eddie Earns' response to it: Oh, they've got it wrong. It's ninety-nine dollars, and that's it. Look, they're just smiling at the system here. This man is smiling at the system, right? And people are saying to me. How is that a fraud, Ross? What? Clever dicks. Being clever dicks. People who follow me. How's that a fraud, Ross? Trying to be clever. Well, them who have asked me, how's it fraud? Trying to be clever dicks. You're fucking blocked. Alright, crawl out of Eddie Earn's arsehole. Okay. Eddie Earn, roll on tomorrow night. Alright, mate. There you go. So, na 8 minutes 31. And look. 9 minutes... 25 so in the space 29 30, 49 in the space of 54 seconds Eddie has just shut Umar IFL down this man is a fucking ice man he should be a fucking politician hey eh? 
This man should be a fucking politician. Peace out. I am off to the pub yet again. It's a fucking joke what's going on. It is a fucking joke. And all these people who keep telling me they're hardcore and they can't see this, well, go fucking pay your money. So you're not getting my money. Corner bag, left hand side. Touche way! Touche way! Touche turtle! Do you remember that program? Touche turtle. Touche way! Keep coming down for that yellow. Keep coming. Tell you what, I've had an hour so far practice today, I feel like I could eat nails. I feel like I could eat nails. Yeah, I feel like I could eat nails. N -n 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 nails.